are Timon Bede from Middelark and we're going to be talking about ukulele and the use on the album. Yeah. So go right ahead, Pete, the ukulele man. <laughs> That's a weird thing, I never thought I'd ever hear anyone say. So this is the ukulele I used on our album, One More Yesterday. I feel we need, we're going to say that name about every uh, 30 sure, seconds, sure, I think. Sure, sure. A subliminal messaging. And it's a Martin T1K. Uh, it's coal wood, which I didn't know this, but coal wood. Everyone talks about coal wood yeah. and it being like the prize wood for ukuleles because it's native to Hawaii, which is yeah, okay. ukuleles and Hawaiian instruments. Okay. But what I didn't know about koa is that it's actually mahogany. Yeah. It's actually just a breed of mahogany or flavor yeah, of mahogany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but interesting thing about the ukulele on our album, one more yesterday, yeah. uh, is the arranging. Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We talked about this when when we started to record the album, or, or actually we started a whole band. <laughs> yeah, we had a session of trying instrument. We were at the studio. There's like a thousand guitars <laughs> here, so we're like, I I'm gonna pick this guitar. Pete, can you try that guitar? It's like, oh, it's oh, it's kind of like, yeah, that's two guitars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's two guitars. Yeah, very true. Yeah, very true. And then it's like, can you try the uke? The uke could be fine. Yeah, we know this that that thing. The range is itself and every song, so yeah. it floats atop everything. It's, it's the range that makes yeah. the difference. So even if you just play basic chords, so if you just play like a C chord, let's play a couple chords. And I play a C chord as well. And if we do it together, it's the equivalent of if I'm playing in this area of the yeah. guitar. Yeah. So you it can get a very nice arrangement and great separation yeah. without having to think too carefully yeah, about yeah. the exact notes. And there's a great freedom that comes with yeah, that. that pretty, much, pretty much automatically happens. Yeah. It's quite nice. Yeah. It's like, we, we take the ukulele into the band. It's like, arranging, yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was the beauty of it. It's like, yeah. it's, it's almost, almost the same thing with the cajon. It's very true that with the full acoustic set, yeah. you have to be very careful. Yeah. Yeah. If the drummer is just hammering hell out of the drum yeah. kit, sure. there's no sure. space for anything else. Sure. So with the cajon, it opens up that whole yeah. space. Yeah. The bass comes through nicely. The yeah. guitar sits on top of that. And then using the ukulele on top of that, we get a full sound spectrum. Yeah. It's a really beautiful sound. I think I think that's overlooked on many things. Yeah. Like when you think about the sonic sonic space of pop music, it's it's quite it's quite dominant in the guitar range, and then maybe anything that deviates from that, is like female vocal line or bass line, and then then snares and bass drums are all in the one hundred to four hundred hertz area that's just very nerdy but yeah it's like when you take a ukulele it's like 600 2000 hertz already it's like overtones added to it. it's like immediately it's a breath of fresh air it's beautiful for, for anyone that doesn't speak nerd that yeah. means the guitar is low sounding yes, and yes, the ukulele is high yeah, sounding yeah, 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 yeah. and you put the two together and it sounds beautiful yeah yeah that's <laughs> the separation separation, separation. Just, we separation. can just take like a few bars of for the weekend and just really think about what we did with the uke for the album. So I think this is the most valuable thing uke gives us. So the song's in D, so it's a very guitar-y chord already. It's like, it's quite a heavy chord, and then it builds up to. It's like, what can you add on top of that? It's like, yeah. you can't really do anything like, that's gonna drown right out. It's like, you can't hear it out, so you can't hear it behind this. And it's just more of the same as well. Yeah. I think that's the other thing. We've really tried with the instrumentation, the orchestration and the arrangement. Yeah. There's, there's three beautiful buzzwords for yeah. you. Um, Everything has its place. So if you yeah. listen to the album on yeah. a good set of speakers, yes. Yes. you can hear the bass line and, and what Pete is doing yeah. on the bass. You can yeah. hear the cajon. You can, there is a space for everything. Yeah. And also the way you mix the album with yeah. the ukulele being panned to the left. <laughs> Dry signal is 70% panned and the wet signal is centered so when you think about the wet signal, it's it's the signal with the effects chain or, or the room acoustics applied because there's very very little effects on the whole whole album. It's quite effects free. So in, in normal speak, that means that yeah. the guitar is on one of your headphones or one yeah. of your speakers. The yeah. ukulele is the opposite side, yeah. and then there's a bit of both of them in yeah. the middle. They coexist as in space. So to show panning, you know, for example, if I play here and I'm sat on the right of your screen. <laughs> If I play the same thing, so of course it's going to come from my side of the video. So, so yeah, and if you put those together, you get the sound of one more yesterday. So, so it gives us the separation, yeah. and it gives every instrument its own space and its own voice. No, nothing is wasted. Yeah, yeah. So coming back to what you were saying yeah, about, about for the weekend, we got yeah. this D chord. 
I'm playing in C with a capo two up. And I think that's originally just because. Did we ever play this in C originally? I'm yeah, not sure. We did. So the ukulele is really like just punctuating the guitar part. The guitar is filling out this kind of large palette, if you want. And then the ukulele is just putting highlights and details on top of that, which is why I'm not playing all the time. It's like yeah. the chorus for this, which actually the ukulele part was suggested by Timon. <laughs> so, so that you can, you know, you've got to not be scared of playing simple things. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so yeah. true. I think that's, that's taken me about twenty-two years to reach that that yeah, point yeah, yeah, yeah. But, of playing music, but. Just to play open strings, you know? Yeah. It's just open strings, but it's, it's like the right my, note, it's the right sound. My, my face in the studio when I'm playing simple things and I'm like thinking like, the song's gotta be a good song. I'm playing the simple thing, I've been like, do I dare to play simple mm -hmm. things? Like, yeah. you, gotta, you gotta trust it. That's yeah. usually less is more. Yeah. If, it's, if it's stylish and it's beautiful, it's, it's gonna you've sound got, good. You've gotta always be listening. And I think that's one of the beautiful things about the longer you play together yeah, and the sure. more you play the songs, yeah. you can hear different things coming out from the songs yeah. and that affects your arrangement and the yeah. way the way you play it. I think we have a good situation in that, that sense because when you listen to the tracks from One More Yesterday, it's so dynamic, it's so beautiful, it's so balanced. See, everything is reacting off each other. It's like everybody's in it for the music which is the most beautiful thing they can be yeah it's really special i mean i think that's one of the big things with the uh, three in the dark in yeah. general we are really lucky yeah that we've got you know just a great group yeah. of people a really nice group that's of people so and i think anyone that's been in a band and anyone that's been in two or three bands will tell you yeah. bands are strange places yeah um, finding the right dynamic with people yeah. it's a very hard thing to do um, and i think yeah. you know when it's right so i think yeah. practical a bit of practical advice there for anyone if you're in a band and it's not working, yeah. try a different band. Sure. You sure. know, if you've been in five bands and it's not working, may maybe start to think about uh, look in the mirror a little bit. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, sure. But it's super important. I think, should we start to wrap that up? Sure. Yeah. Sure, sure. So we are Pete and Timo from Three in the Dark. Yes, Our album One More Yesterday is out and available on every platform. Everywhere. Everywhere. Just go just Google yeah. Three in the Dark. Google us. One more yesterday. And I think one more thing as well. Is leave uh, in the comments below anything you want to see or talk about the album. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, couldn't ask um, the Rolling Stones yeah. you know, why they wrote something the way they did. Or, whereas with us you can. So leave anything uh, in the comments below. Yeah. We'll read the comments and uh, if there's anything we can reply to we yeah. will or even make some videos and some content based on what people want. Yeah. But if you want to send a letter, you can. Oh. If you send a letter, I will respond. A letter, Martin. Please sponsor us. <laughs>